spirit in the sky and say, Come up here, my son. Come up here, my children. Praise the Lord. Jesus says to the disciples, I'm leaving you with my gift, which is peace of mind and peace in the heart, so that you won't live in fear. Glory to God. Glory to God. He said, I want you to know that the peace I'm giving you is special. This peace can only be found in God and I, Jesus says. And anyone who accepts him, he put his peace. This peace, I'm leaving with you. The world can't have it because the world is God's enemy. So don't be troubled. Do not be afraid. And not leave you comfortless. I tell my father to send you another comforter. Amen. I'm leaving you with my peace. Yes, yes, because my peace, money can't buy it. Yes, I send my peace to you yes, with the Holy Spirit. Yes, and he will be with you forever. Yes, Come on, somebody. My peace. Yes, Come into your inner man yes, and deal with your conscience. Yes, Come on, somebody. Yes, and then, when this peace comes within you, my God, what a glory it shall be. Yes, sir. Yes. You're different. Because it comes yes. from the sense of a pardoned sin. Yes. Yes. You can't have peace and your sin is not pardoned. Right. You got to get your pardon, your sin pardoned. Yes. Then peace will come. Yes. The peace that Christ talked about, yes. Yes. it will reconcile you with your Father in heaven. Yes. I'm the only one, Jesus says, that can give you this peace. Because I purchased it with my blood on Calvary's cross just for your sake. Now stay with me. Don't leave me now, alright? Stay with me. The reason why the world cannot get this peace, you want to know? The reason why the world cannot get this peace of God is because Jesus died for it. So you could have, you could have it. You could have it. Praise the Lord. When you accept him. You could have him. Yes. When you accept him as your Lord and Savior, you can have it. Right. To receive this peace, you've got to be blood bought, yes. Amen. blood sought, yes. and blood sealed. Yes. The blood of Jesus must pay yes. for your body, soul, and spirit. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. This great peace yes. of our God that Christ offers to those that accept him isn't given to you sparingly. No. This peace of God that Jesus offered to us is not selfish. No. No. This peace of God that Jesus offered to us is not for a short time, no. but for everlasting to everlasting. Amen. This peace of God given to the saints is hooked up with power, love, and a sound mind. This peace of God, Amen. Jesus has for us, is perfect, yes. bought by his precious blood. Yes. So he has it to give, if he didn't have to give, he would be a liar. Yes. A lot of people say they have something to give and they don't have it. Mm. They have got teeth on somebody. Yes. Running off the mouth, running off the mouth. But when Jesus said, my peace, yes, sir. he purchased it with his blood. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This peace caused you to say it is well. It is well with my soul. When peace comes like a river and attends your way, it comes like Sorrows like sea billows roll. Yeah, yeah. And when it comes, it causes you to say, It is well. Yes, it is well Earlier, with my soul. Yes, Earlier. Earlier. When peace like a river attended my way. When sorrows like sea Billows roll. Whatever my lot, 
Thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul, with my soul, it is well. It is well, it is well with my soul. In the Bible, it says it's well with my soul. Don't forget, this is the same peace that Jesus has. This is my peace. He has peace to give away. Praise the Lord. I say He's giving you peace. The peace He has with His Father, He gives to us. Great peace. To my peace I give unto you. Praise the Lord. And if this attitude comes to rise our lives, if we allow ourselves not to be anxious for anything, it is because we are prayerful in all things and thankful for everything. And like I say, this thing or this attitude characterize our lives, we'll walk in Jesus' peace. Yes. If you are able to pray to God without ceasing, it's a lifestyle given to us at our new birth yes. by the Holy Spirit, yes, we will be at peace with God and man. Amen. Yes, I need to explain what I am talking about before you. And I want you to understand before you become a Christian, you never walk around praying. No, no. Oh God, help me. No. Before you became a Christian, you never walk around singing in your heart. No. It's only in your mind. Can I talk to you for real? When you were born again, the Spirit of God come in you. And you walk around and let, let me use the word thinking about God. Deep inside of you, something is. Oh God. It's praying. And this never happened to you when you were in the world. When you are not praying, you are singing. Within. Before you were born again, if you were singing, it was in your head. But now in your heart, there's always a song. And some of you like singing in the bathroom, right? And you make your own song. Because well, that's what the Holy Spirit does for you. Praise the Lord. And if you don't experience this, the word still got you. If you don't experience a praying in your heart, a praying and a singing a song in your heart, the word still have you. So when I say characterize, I'm saying to you, your new way describe your character. Or your new quality of life speaks for you. Yes, sir. Amen. We praise the Lord. Praise God. We praise the Lord. Praise God. You know, you have a life of a new ambition. Yes, sir. A life that distinguishes who you really are. Yes, sir. We praise the Lord. Praise and so now we know it is mean, what you mean by peace of God. Yes. Surpass our understanding. Yes. And the reason is people of the world can understand how this peace works. Even some of us Christians find it surprising at times and yes. difficult to really believe. Mm -hmm. the some of us, it's a surprise of our new change of attitudes. Yes. Especially when tragedy or bad circumstances comes. Yes. We're surprised how we take this thing so easy this time. Yes. It, 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 it just makes you feel 
different. Yes. Yes. Because sitting is different. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Some people, when mama die, uh -huh. when mama dead, uh -huh. they roll on the floor. Yes. And then they get saved. No more rolling. No, you reach out to God and say, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama, we have a good life and thank you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. That's right. I heard a long time ago and I believe it too. That when you go to a funeral and see people want to jump in the coffin too, they never fulfill their destiny. Yes. They never tell Mama, I love you. Yes. Now, look, curse Mama out. Yes. Can I talk like this? Yes. Yes. Y'all just say bad things about Mama. And when they realize they can't talk to mama no more, Ooh. then they start rolling. <laughs> they want to go to the coffin too. Right. Yeah, me know. I know I'm sick. Me know, man. I'm talking the truth. Someone take away everything that mama have. And when mama is dead, then feel so bad, they want to go to the grave too. If you left a man, then put you in there anyway. So listen. When this peace, like a river, a ten year away, sorrows, like sheep in a roll, whatever won't come. Because you have the peace of God in you. I remember. This young miss in the college. Many gunman point the gun and say, Are you a Christian? Yes. Say, Yes, I am. Yes. She knew what he was going to do. Yes. But there's always that peace within you yes. that yes. makes a difference. Yes. When you have this peace of God yes. in you, it makes a difference. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. You don't see death yes. as a hindrance, we yes. see death as a pleasure. Because you know, after death comes the joy of the Lord. And you know, I say, Welcome home. Yes, sir. Young yes. people put God in your life, the Christ in your life, that when these young thugs start to shoot up, yes, you don't know, worry about where you're going. Because you know where you're going. I know where I am going. I know. I know where I am going, I know Joy bells are ringing and happy children are singing I know where I am going, I know Can we sing it again? I know where I am going, I know I know where I am going, I know Joy bells are ringing Happy children are singing, I know where I am going, I know. Come on, let's do it again. Yeah, I know where I am going, I know. I know where I am going, I know. Joy bells are ringing, happy children are singing, I know where I am going, I know. Someday. Someday I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, someday I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, someday I'll go where Jesus is. I'll be caught up to meet him, caught up to greet him, caught up to meet him in the air, mm, caught up to meet him, caught up to greet him, joy and happiness, peace is mine, someday in glory, I tell a story, caught up to meet him in the air. God bless you and be seated again. Praise the Lord, somebody. We praise the Lord. Woo. What a day of rejoicing is going to be. When we all 
get to heaven. Mm. So there will come a time when this peace come within you. It make you surprised the way you take it. Because of the peace of God in you. Uh, one songwriter, named Francis Ridley, Abagal, say it best. Serious. Say it best. He says, stand up on Jehovah. Hearts are fully blessed. Finding as he promised, perfect peace and rest. Come on, somebody. His peace given to us that accept his son Jesus Christ and it garrison our hearts on taught life. Look in there by the eye. Don't be afraid of them. Tell the pastor they never take care of anything. All right? What a needed tonic. God's peace is. What a needed tonic. God's peace is. God's peace is like tonic for the soul. God's peace is vitamin 7B plus for the heart, mind, and body. God's peace is complete. Yes. Yes. Vitamin B10. Yes. Yes. God perfect. Yes. And God is complete. Yes. 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 Ah. I love this. So I've been speaking to you of great peace. However, I need to go into the Psalms. Let me get into the Psalms real quick. Psalms 119. 165. We want to look how the writer speak of this great peace. So it says, Great peace of day. Which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Oh God. This same peace is a peace Christ gives to his disciples. Our followers are better yet, those who choosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Praise the Lord. This peace, as we see here, shows that this great peace. This peace comes in our hearts yes. to combat this world of temptation. Ah. Yes. It keeps our hearts and mind in yes. perfect peace yes. because God's Holy Spirit is in us. Yes. The Holy Spirit helps us to keep our mind on him. him who died for us. Yes. In this verse of scripture, perfect peace is called in the Hebrew tongue Shalom. Which is the Hebrew method of putting much emphasis on the word great peace. He says you will keep all who trust in you in perfect peace. The word shalom. Because the word shalom implies health, happiness, well-being and peace. Because those whose mind is on the Lord the Lord will allow you your mind to be creative. You, you, you're going to have a, a creative imagination. Right. Praise the Lord, somebody. God will give us his children great peace. God, shalom. Everybody say to your neighbor, shalom. shalom. Say shalom. shalom. Because what we are saying, or what you are saying to your neighbor, is a wish above all things. That you prosper and be in good health. Yes. Everybody, shalom. shalom. I wish you happiness. Yes. All right. I wish you well. Yes. Uh -huh. Peace and love, my brother. Yes. Uh -huh. I wish you peace and love. Mm -hmm. I wish you, I wish your imagination be creative in Christ. Right. When you say shalom. 
I wish your thought life be the thought of God and Christ in you. Yes. I, I wish the seat of God's plan be firmly fixed in you. Yes. So you can enjoy God's great peace. Shalom. Are you with me? Yes. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. Great peace of day. Yes. Which love thy law. Yes. And nothing yes. shall offend them. Great peace. I give unto you yes. great peace yes. that surpasses all understanding. Yes. It's a peace that keep you yes. and keep your mind from going astray. Yes. Keep your mind from going to temptation yes. uh, to point you that you heal not yes, to temptation. Thank you. Thank you. Oh God. This peace is a safety net yes. for us, the children of God. This peace Keep us from worldly temptation. Because of this great peace given to us, we can avoid the pitfall of sin. Not that the temptation isn't there, but the rather we can say no to sin. When you put it to work for us, this will keep us from grieving or even our insults. This peace keeps us from murmuring. Yes. This great peace keeps us from complaining. You know, some people say, talk too much, you worry me to death. <laughs> this great peace keeps us from complaining, man. Yes. This great peace in our mind stayed on him, stayed in him, yes. who is able, and come from him, who is able to keep you from falling, falling into mischief. Yes. This great peace will keep you. This peace offers tremendous comfort. This peace keeps us on the picture side of life. This great peace take a stand against the plan of the enemy who have a cup of trouble and anguish waiting for us. But God, great peace, trace the rainbow through the tears. Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. And we learn that prayer is a communication or to, is com to communicate with our God. Yes. Amen. This great peace gives us the power yes. to pray to God yeah. to help us and God cannot risk our prayers because he's committed to hear our prayer when we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise we are told to pray without ceasing. Yes. We are told to pray always pray. So great peace causes us to enjoy life in a more precise way through prayer. Great peace. I thank you God for invest great peace in me. This Psalms 119, 165 give us who love God instructions great peace yeah. and again before uh, because we follow his instructions yes. we do not stumble i need to back up a little bit and go to psalms 119 164. seven times a day do i praise you because of the righteous judgment I will praise you seven times a day because all your regulations are just. Yes. And those who love your law are, instruct are instructions of this great peace. And David said, I praise the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. Then the humble shall hear it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. Praise the Lord, somebody. You don't understand, but the world want what we got. But they can't get it. These verses is clear cut. Psalms 119, 164, 165. 
great peace have they that love thy law. If you don't love God's law, you can't have this. And let me say this. There's no ifs or buts or maybe. You get your prayer answer when you are walking by the law of God. This is clear cut instruction. How to attain great peace. Jesus said, in my word. If my word. My word abide in you. Ask what you will. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, ask what you will. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. Amen. If we love God and obey his law, yes. we'll have great peace. Great peace. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can disobey God and do what you want to do and have great peace. As a matter of fact, you can't be the Father's love if you don't follow his instruction. But God is the one who stands above all pressures. Yes. All pressures of life, God stands above them. Amen. And he who stands above our problem, he gives us the assurance that if we love his instruction, it's because we have great peace. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Jesus Christ, give us who come to him because you know he gave us this great peace because he said if you are heavy laden with the cares of the world come unto me all you that live under heavy laden and I will give you rest he said take my yoke upon you and learn of me because my yoke is easy and my burden is light praise the Lord so now it's time for you to say, Lord, release me and let me go. Yes. I need thee. Yes. Lord Jesus, I need thee. Yes. I'll tell you what, I'm stopping right here. I ain't going no further. I'm going to stop right here. If you need a better understanding, come. And we will lay hands on you. In Jesus' name. And God will give you a better understanding as you read his word. Will you please stand? When peace like a river, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, will you come? Don't be afraid of nobody, you come. I see. If you need prayer, will you come? If you need to join the church, come. If you need to get baptized, come. Oh, yeah.
Thank you.